Uh, food. I love food. <laughs> and I wish that I could get my metabolism to function at the speed at which it would process this food. You can. You can. And I would be 20 pounds, 50 pounds, 60 pounds lighter. How so never, I have a problem getting there. Well, no one can all of a sudden approach a subject in an entirely different way. It's why we say, leave the specifics behind and go more general. And you gave us a lot of specifics. In other words, you, you told us how much you like food, and you made it very clear what you believe about it, and you let us know that you're, uh, you kept changing your mind about how, how much you'd like to lose, but, <laughs> but it got more and more specific and more and more real about what you're really talking about. And so there's, there's a lot of specific vibration that's going on there that is holding you. In other words, when you want something and believe it, there's no vibrational variance, and it is. But when you want something and you believe all, other than that, then there's a vibrational variance which is at the heart of the metabolism that you're talking about. So when you go general, you, you could go general on a subject. Let, we'll show you how to do this in, in a little bit. We want to lay a groundwork here. So everything is vibrational. Do you, can you accept that at least conceptually? Oh, 100%. And, and all your questions pointed to the fact that you understand that. And do you accept that what you see with your eyes is a vibrational interpretation? What you hear with your ears is a vibrational interpretation. Your fingertips are interpreting vibration. Your nose is. Your taste buds are. In other words, you are interpreting vibration. Every part of your being is a vibrational being. Every, the cells of your body are vibrational. Food is vibrational. So when you... Uh, do you accept that things go well for you on most subjects when you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on to who you are. Yes. Do you believe that your source has an opinion about everything that you're focused upon? Yes. Do you believe that when you are angry at someone that you're having a vibrational disagreement with source? I'm beginning to understand it. Does, doesn't it resonate with you? Can't you? And, yeah. and don't you, haven't you shown yourself that a little bit of appreciation will just cover you with goosebumps. In other words, you can be appreciating a total stranger and feel your source resonating or your allowance of your resonating with source. So, so let's go back there again because you said you're beginning to feel that. Do you believe, do, do, have you shown yourself that when you are loving someone, you can feel your agreement with your inner being's perspective? Much better. So when you find fault with yourself or with another, can you feel the discord that you have accomplished? Eventually, but in the beginning it feels pretty good. You know? Well, wh what feels good? Well, the fact that it's their fault. See, it's much better than it <laughs> being my fault. So you're telling us that yeah. blame feels better than guilt. In the beginning. But our question is, oh. does guilt feel better than alignment? No. Not even close. No. So in the beginning it feels better because, because them being the problem is better in your mind than you being the problem. But the problem is, is a far cry from the, the love and appreciation that the source within you is reaching for in any moment in time. So we've established that your emotions let you know your alignment with source. And we think that you're ready to say that anything that you might be doing in conjunction with source would therefore have to be beneficial to you. Would you can you go that far? That we'll if you ahead. are in alignment with source and source is standing in alignment with everything that you've been asking for, then isn't it logical that if you're feeling good and therefore in alignment with source, that things must be turning out the way you want them to? Isn't that perfect? Isn't yes. that perfect reasoning? Absolutely. So when you are eating something and feeling guilty, what does that tell you about your relationship with source? I'm out of alignment. And make it more specific. Source does not agree with this 
thing that I've, that I've decided. I've decided that I shouldn't be doing this. I've decided that I'm in offering inappropriate behavior. I'm deciding that I'm focused upon results that I don't want and, and associating it with this behavior. And the source within me is not doing that. Now, does that mean that source is saying, we want you to eat the Twinkie? You think this is source, you think this is source saying, we are in complete agreement with, or is it source saying that your thoughts are hindering the outcome that you're reaching for? That's what it's saying. Your, you, th those thoughts are, are not helping you. So what's the logical thing that you then want to do? Better, let, let us ask you a better question. What is the manifestation that you are wanting to accomplish right here this red hot minute? Are you wanting a vision about the perfect food to eat? Or are you wanting positive emotion in this moment? Yes, exactly. So if your desire is to find positive emotion in this moment, if that's your dominant intention and you've been practicing it, then just play with it a little bit. In other words, so at first, let's say that you want to feel the full resonance of your source within you while you eat this thing that you believe is wrong. And, and now your intention is to feel the full resonance of source within you while you eat this thing that you believe is wrong. And you just can't pick it up and eat it and feel the full resonance of your inner being. And now you're faced with a choice. What do I want more? To eat this or to feel the full resonance of the source within me. Stay with us, it's going to have a happy ending. <laughs> because you think what we're saying is, give up the Twinkie for source. We, that's what you're thinking. But it isn't what we're saying. We're saying, we're saying, let your resonance with source be what matters most. And if it matters most, you'll find yourself being able to just let that, we promise you, in a little bit of time, you'll be able to do that. But it gets better and better because what happens is, as you find resonance with source, as you find resonance with source, as you find resonance with source, first of all, you'll be inspired about what to eat, but you'll reach the place where your resonance with source, your resonance with source is not at risk no matter what you eat. Mm. And when you discovered that your alignment with source is not at risk, no matter what behavior that you're offering, not only will your behavior morph into things that are more pleasing for you all around, but you'll discover that there are a lot of things that you believe are inappropriate that, that at many levels of your being you still want to participate in because there is nothing in and of itself that's inappropriate, you see. You will be guided to the perfect behavior, to the perfect circumstances and events, to the perfect... There is so much that you're doing with your food that keeps it from resonating in perfection with your physical body that you will be inspired around, you see. It's hard for you to hear it, and this is a perfect subject upon which to have this discussion. It's hard for you to hear it, but we're going to say it anyway, that what you want even more than the satisfaction of that food is resonance with source. And then we'll go further to say, once you achieve this continual resonance with source, you're going to find food to be delectable in ways that you've never known it to be before. Because there's a whole lot of people eating a whole lot of food to try to compensate for the disconnection between who they are and who they're allowing themselves to be. And once you get that in place first, so that you're eating from the inside out, so that you're inspired to your behavior, rather than trying to compensate for something that's missing, oh, everything takes on a whole different way that it feels within you, you see. And under those conditions, you have such perfect physical response to everything that you're doing that it just feels like you're dancing with all kinds of partners, even partners called food. We had a discussion a, a day or two ago, even about how the, and, and it's a good one to have with you because you are so keen and aware on the idea of vibration, how food properties all have vibrations. And when you meld together foods that have similar vibrations, the result of that food is much more satisfying, not only in terms of the way it feels to you as in you ingest it, in terms of the way it tastes to you, but also the benefit that it gives to your body. But then there are all kinds of things that vibrationally affect food. Microwaves vibrationally alter food. Freezing food vibrationally alters it. Storing it past its, past its prime alters it. In other words, eating it green before it has had a chance to ripen mm -hmm. is a different vibration. Uh, food, is, food, is, 
food are <laughs> vibrational beings. In other words, it's, it's a whole lot of vibrational beingness, you see, that you can't be inspired to the perfect interaction with unless you are in alignment with source first, you see. Where a lot of people, it, this is a discussion we've been having all day today, most people say, I will offer this behavior in order to affect this emotion. Which is the same thing as saying, I will offer this behavior in order to affect this vibration. Have you accepted that, that emotion is vibration? Yeah. So I will offer this behavior in order to affect this vibration. And we say it's backwards. Affect the vibration and then the behavior is affected by the vibration. Vortex first, vortex affects manifestation. So it's possible and we know it's hard to hear. There are people who through their alignment can alter the vibrational frequency of food right before they eat it. And that's why people have begun in the first place to bless their food. In other words, that's what that blessing was all about mm -hmm. to those who, who were really understanding vibration. It was about preparing their own vibrational frequency in their own physical body and then asking what they were participating in to join them in that frequency. And food is a very cooperative component. That's why there are people who can eat the most outrageous things that you have learned that they should not be thriving on and still thrive. And it just irritates you because you think you can only thrive under these limited conditions. But that's because you have not eaten from the inside out. Mm. 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 Well, organic food as opposed to processed food. Better for uh, you in the sense that there's less for you to do about it. In other words, the vibration of it is pure. But that is not to say, in other words, as we're talking about vibration, the more chemicals you add to anything, then the more resistance you are adding to it. But we want to go back to the conversation that we had earlier, that these things are insignificant to one who's in alignment. In other words, it's your alignment that matters. And as you use all of these things that you think are out of whack as your excuse to my 26-year-old daughter behaves in a way that m makes me feel bad so she needs to change so that I can feel good, it's no different asking your daughter to be different than it is asking your food to be different. We want you to be different and it affects everything that comes to you. We're not kidding you. We're not kidding you. So then someone wants to take it to a real extreme. All right, Abraham. So there's this Clorox bleach. <laughs> Are you saying that I can be so in alignment that I could drink Clorox bleach and thrive? And we say, no, but you could be so in alignment you wouldn't be stupid enough to drink Clorox bleach. <laughs> So you get, to, you get to test the boundaries, in other words, you get to test your boundaries and so, and, and, but, but so that's like saying, well, there's all this stuff that I believe clogs arteries and, and adds weight and has all sorts of detrimental, but I really like the way it tastes, so I want to eat it. And we, and we say, uh, if, if you come into complete alignment with who you are, those things won't even be something that you'll be reaching for because the satisfaction that you're getting from the food that is beneficial to you will be so deep and rich that that will be what you're wanting to eat, you see. It's the satisfaction you're reaching for, not the means to the end, which is the satisfaction. Best discussion we've ever had about food. And you set it up with your series of vibrational questions inspired from the inside out. Thank you. <laughs>